Hey guys, this is the start of my hog hunt video. I'm gonna take you guys along the way. We're going down to Texarkana, Texas. There is a, let me think here, it is the Army Corps of Engineers property. I think there's several thousand acres down there, huge lake. It's only about seven hours and 15 minutes from us. And we've got 10 or 11 guys from our church, a couple guys not from our church, but mostly men from our church that are gonna go down there. We're gonna have an absolute blast. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have packed up. And then as the trip just unfolds, I'll be taking more and more videos and put them all together into one video. I wanna remind you of what's going on this month. We are just sponsoring ourselves, basically and telling you about the intensive May 11th through the 13th. And we would love for you to make it. Eminence, Missouri, it's a phenomenal trip. We're hoping for 75 men this year. Last year, there was almost 50 guys, seven different states. This year, we're hoping for 75 guys from as many states as possible. I don't really care about where people are coming from, but. It's just a lot of fun to think through that. This is year number five, and it's been a phenomenal trip. So two days on the river, Jack's Fork River. We're gonna be floating about 50 miles, give or take a few miles, probably in between 40 and 50 miles. We're gonna have teaching sessions from Joshua Jenkins. And let me flip this around. We'll start uh, checking out what's happening here. Here we go, folks. Here's my truck. It's an 05 F-150. I absolutely love it. It came from Vegas. I've never done a video on this. I might at some point, but there was a lot of stuff done to it, extras that I would have never done that are just a lot of fun. The body is in perfect condition. The tires were brand new, which is great. He had just put these running boards on it and there's no rust on it at all. It's just a lot of fun. Brand new engine in it as well. I mean, brand new. I'm in Illinois. So this is a gun that cannot be named in here. Then this is uh, what I got going on here. That is, uh, I'm gonna get made fun of a little bit by the fellas for bringing that as a porta potty. And that's gonna be for me for when I uh, need to go number two. Got my cooler. This is gonna be for the hogs. We got a bigger cooler that's coming. And then let me unpack this and show you exactly what's in here. What I decided to do is get a tote. And here's my tent. This is a truck tent. I did a little short video on it. That fits perfectly in here. What I ended up doing here is packing everything I could in my in my tote, okay? So, I have all my clothes in here. That's gonna be the bag. I got my Doritos. I'm gonna eat a few chemicals as I'm down there. But I got everything I need in here. And what I'll do is an unpacking video to show you what I brought when we get there. It's gonna be a ton of fun though. I got two other guys riding with me, my brother-in-law, and then my buddy Justin, who is a pastor, friend, a cop. He is some sort of foot doctor and uh, does a bunch of other things as well. He's gonna be riding with me and then you guys will get to meet everybody along the way in some form or another. So, hope you guys enjoy it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Tomorrow we leave, so I got a, a few things to do for the rest of the night, but I think you're gonna enjoy this video. Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna give you a couple updates. We're ready to go here in about an hour. I was gonna walk you through. I was gonna tell you when I was unpacking. I think that's what I said yesterday. I would show you what I'm bringing, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I only have two things, I think, from China. Everything else is American-made, either vintage or just something that's cool. Um, okay, so here's what I'm bringing. Let me switch this around. This is gonna be to carry the meat out, to pack meat. Doritos, I have some of these for food. I do have some eggs that I'm gonna be making. I got all my clothes, obviously. I'm gonna have some camo and some clothes, blaze orange. Um, then game bags under there, French press coffee, a few stogies. I've got, uh, let's see, a bunch of Coleman stuff. There's my stove. There's my plates and everything for eating. And uh, my tea kettle is in there too for making coffee. I've got a little heater here, right here. It's just one of those little buddy heaters. There's my Coleman stove. And let's see what else. There's my mess plates and a sleeping bag. So that's pretty much, I tried to get everything in this tote and I think I got it. I got some bratwurst and stuff in the cooler, some drinks, all of that, and I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm just making the final touches right now on what I'm packing. I'm gonna be wearing those Timberland boots. Those are my hiking boots right there. So I'll be wearing those. Those are really good. There's my homemade deodorant right there. That works so great. I got a video on that if you guys wanna see a how-to video, Jordan and I do that. So anyways, this is what I'm bringing. Almost Little Rock, here with Justin Schweitzer. 
There's Scott. We're making our way. So far, so good. We're gonna get some lunch and keep going. We got about two and a half hours left. Here we are, folks. This is the Army Corps of Engineer land outside of Texarkana, Texas. We're almost there. We're gonna get there and get everything set up. This is where we're gonna be chasing down some pigs. We have arrived and we've been here for about 30 minutes and we have got everything set up as quick as possible because we are going out right now. We got one pig down so far and this is the setup. Wise Moose truck tent and I'll get everything else cleaned up later. Scott, you ready for this, man? Back here. Yeah, buddy. Let's do it. <laughs> Jacob got one. Now it's our turn. You guys ready? It's about to go down. This is what we're looking at right now. Slowly pushing them into a peninsula. We haven't seen anything yet. There's Justin. No pigs yet. We're walking about 60 yards okay. apart um, in a line. Do you guys want to head this way or do you want to? We're figuring out yeah, where we're at. We've got pretty fresh here from... We found some good sign apparently. We have a bunch of sign over here. Pigs have been everywhere through here. All right, guys, it's the end of the road. First night. We're all the way to a peninsula. There's four of us here, no pigs yet. So back to camp, we got- three, For three of you guys. How long is that? Yeah, for three of us, yeah, sorry. I'm gonna clarify, Jacob got one. How far of a walk do we have now? Uh, probably about an hour walk. We got an hour walk? Mm -hmm. So we're heading back to the car. See you in a bit. It's pretty thick back here. I thought I'd get some of the walk back. All right, Derek, what do you have to say, man? You having a good time? I'm having a good time, ready to shoot some hogs. We got back, how many miles do you think you walked today? 10. Oh my gosh. I yeah. I, he went out twice, we went out once. So we, we I mean, we just walked. Well, we had, we timed it, it was an hour walk back. So through the marsh, and did you, were you in water like crazy? You're like, it's almost like quicksand, just yeah. marshy <laughs> stuff, yeah. That's how my boot got wet, is uh, stepped in something and you know, yeah. sank. <laughs> but tomorrow, pretty excited to get back out there. Yeah. I'm taking yeah. a video, this is going up on Gab. All right. Yeah, yeah. so. I'm gonna shoot one, I'm ready. Yep, we're excited. All right, folks, this is what we got going on. Derek is a big fan of Coleman gear as well. How many vintage Coleman things do you think you have? I have two lanterns and and then i have two water jugs two of the two yeah, gallon yeah. old water jugs have the little plastic cup in it and you got that kerosene cooker yeah which is cool not that's coleman. not coleman though that's not coleman, but, but that's kind of cool too so these are pretty cool these are from that's from 76 this is from 74 and i am eating one of these mountain things tonight i'm gonna save my bratwurst for tomorrow tonight something real easy chicken fried rice I think that's going to be pretty good. But this is the setup. Got my coffee already. All my stuff's in there. Sleeping in there. I think it's going to work out well tonight. Jacob, you doing good? Yeah, doing great. Jacob shot the one pig that we've got so far. To be honest so. with you, I might. It was miserable. Fire time. Some good fellows right here. Fire hanging time. out. Going out the boots. Look at that. Man, that is still, man, look how wet that is still. How much water we walked through tonight? I mean, we walked through water. My <laughs> gosh. The just, the just go it, yeah. Yeah. I know. We just kind of didn't go. Get through it. The great thing was. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it's day two. And there is a beautiful sunrise. I've been up since 4.30. Nobody else is awake yet. But it is really pretty. It's a huge lake out there. More to come today. Morning, Pat. Morning. Pat set this whole thing up. 
him and his brother, <laughs> they are the real experts here. So I don't know about that, but we know a thing or two. Yeah, the we're, they're going to help us get this done. <laughs> Scott home. finally got up. I've been sitting there by myself for two and a half hours, and Scott finally wakes up. And uh, it's like please note that I'm the only other one up. Yeah, the Is only other guy? one up. That's right. That's hey, it. My brother's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we got the sunrise over there. You guys saw it just a second ago. Here's my truck camp set up, and it's pretty out there. Pat, we're going to get some pigs around. today, man. Oh, yeah, we are. Good deal. Justin, what are you thinking, man? I'm wet and cold, and it's only 8 o'clock. Hey, we can't complain, though, right? <laughs> That's right, yeah. Daniel, you doing all right? Yeah. What do you mean? Good. Texting your wife? Yeah. Cool. Doing good. Already eating Fritos, huh, Ben? That's right. It's going to be a good day. Derek, what do you got? Uh... A Rossi 92 lever action 357 Magnum. Nice. Where's your gun? Over there on the seat, buddy. Gotcha. You guys ready? <laughs> Jacob Teal, finally up. <laughs> these are the uh, these are the guides here. Jesse, you doing good, man? Yep, I'm good. Good deal. I'm Pat, good. ready to slay? I'm ready. Awesome. Right. We're on our way to the woods. Yeah. 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 It didn't that price. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. About to push some pigs again. My favorite's the fanatics. Hoping to get some down. Last year, the two guys in the front, Pat and Jesse, they pushed groups of 30 pigs. Yesterday, when we got the one, Derek almost got a piglet with his hands. So that's kind of cool. Here we go. Ben, Scott, The guys are getting lined up. Here's what we're going to be pushing through this morning. It's actually pretty good woods. Pretty clear. Not a ton of brush right now. Better than what we were walking through last night. Three pigs down. We got three more on the other side of this peninsula. So far, so good. This is the tip of one of those fingers I've been talking about. We just pushed more. Ransom and Valor, you are going to love this video. This is so cool. One day, I'm gonna take you out here to do something like this. We've got to the end, our pigs that we shot are about a quarter mile in. We'll go get those, cut them up, carry them out. And we've got a couple mile walk at least, maybe three, maybe more. It's a good hour walking. First time packing out meat, let's do this. Yeah, it's time to start packing back. We're back. And alive. We just packed out of there. Four, four miles? How many miles do you think? Three miles? Yeah. Three miles. Oh, not terrible. Anyways, we got it. We have had a phenomenal time, and we're back right now. We're cutting one of the pigs up to cook it over the fire, and all the meat has been put away. We're chilling for a little bit, gonna do some dinner. I think we got some chili waiting for us, and overall, I can't, I mean, this is a great trip. There's really nothing about it to the negative. It's very cheap. It's a phenomenal trip and we all had a great time. We'll see if there's gonna be more. I think there'll probably be a couple more videos to wrap things up, but thanks so much for watching. It's been a ton of fun. See you more. See you back here in just a little bit. Here we are, we're back cleaning. This is the hind quarter. Derek's taking care of that. This is the biggest pig of the weekend right here. This is one that I shot. You can see it's ginormous. It's about uh, chihuahua size. So that's that. <laughs> we got a lot of work to do cutting all yeah, this stuff up here. That's Yorkie size. Yorkie size. That's right. <laughs> Jacob, how you feeling, man? Looks like you're walking like you just been uh, horseback riding for about two days. I'm just getting stiff. Are you? Boy, I'm feeling it a little bit too. But <laughs> it's good. Is there anything better than this? Look at this. Yeah, this is pretty good. Oh my gosh. God, thank you for this kind of stuff. 
incredible. All right, here we go. The spoils of war. That is a pig. And it is currently smoking or roasting over the fire. Scott, what are you thinking, man? Delicious. It's all seasoned up. We got some good seasoning on it over there somewhere. And uh, behind the cooler, let's see what we got. Well, I thought it was over here. It's now missing. Here we go. We got Kinder's. That's what we got. So it's gonna be pretty tasty, I think, here in a little bit. Last night. Pretty sure this is like some We got seven total pigs, got them all cut up. They're on ice. Now we're hanging out by a fire. We've been smoking that one right there. It's not quite done, so we're having to cut it off and cook it over the fire. But we've had a blast. There's the guys over there taking care of stuff. We're all gonna sleep good tonight. One of our group walked 15 miles. So it was pretty wild. Good morning. It is the morning of the last day. It was a quick trip, but we got it done. And it was a lot of fun. So a couple takeaways from this trip so far is number one, God is so gracious to give us, I mean, just an incredible earth. I mean, this has just been so much fun to be outdoors and two buddies are awesome. It's a great thing in life to be in your, you know, time of life that a lot of people don't have that many friends. And uh, it's tough to have friends when your children are younger and God has been so gracious to give us such a great group of people at church and it's been so much, it's just been a great time hanging out and sleeping in a tent, eating food. We ate the pig last night that uh, one of the pigs that we killed and oh man, it's just been awesome. And uh, hunting is just, I love it. It's so great. So would uh, love you to think about it. You got something like this around your place get some buddies go out and do stuff like this i mean it's just it's awesome i mean it may not be your thing but you can still get together with a group of good buddies and do some something that's fun we're all thankful of course for our wives being at home and our kids and i'm looking forward to getting home and uh hanging out and seeing them and talking to them on the phone last night and and uh just missing them but anyways been a great time We'll wrap things up here in a little bit. Head home later to, later this morning. All right, time to divvy up the meat. <laughs> so now everybody's getting something. Jacob, what do you think about this trip, man? It's been a great, great experience. Good time. Um, I would definitely do it again. Good yeah. deal. Yeah. You slept good. You always oh, sleep yeah. good in the outdoors. Oh, yeah. Pat, like a thanks again, man. brother. No problem. Derek, how you doing, man? Man, I'm doing good. Get good. Bag out. Jesse the Butcher, you doing all right? Yep, I'm here. Going back out, right? Yes, sir. And you guys are coming back in a month. Two weeks. Two, Two weeks. weeks. We'll be doing this again. Justin's feeling great. He's ready for another 15 miles, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've had a good time. These guys made uh, made a glam tent, or a glam camp, out of this uh, mobile treatment center. That's their business. And they had a, a camper made out of that. Whenever you get it to where you feel comfortable with it. Hey guys, that's that. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, appreciate you. appreciate you watching and, and going along with me on this hog hunt. If you want to support the channel, you can certainly do that. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I might jump back on here when we go to Lambert's or get home, but I think this is it.